Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we have reports coming in now of a lot of meteorites coming in. Fireballs, really. They're calling them fireballs, and they're breaking through the Earth's atmosphere all over the world. The reports are literally coming in from everywhere. And they're, some of them are so bright. In Australia, they were so bright that even with the sun up, you could still see them brightening up and lighting up the sky as they come entering in. Some are quite large. Also, they're being seen all over different parts of Europe, the United States of America, and Australia. Seems to be like a pattern. When I look at the map going from west to east, there seems to be this pattern. But they're not all coming in from west to east. Won't we understand? Some are coming in from east to west or north to south. Now, today, my guest on my live broadcast will be VP Earthwatch. And we're specifically going to zero in on these meteor shower. I don't even think it's a shower. It's really a meteor storm. I tell you, it's really not even that. Scientists are saying it's the debris trail of Ison. We're in day number two of the seven days of passage, and the light show is beginning to start. And what does it mean? How big will they be, and just will there be Earth impact? We know they're breaking through the atmosphere. I'm going to play for you just a moment some words by BP Earthwatch to give you an update of all of them. But while that's going on, let me tell you just uh, just uh, earlier, there's been some other reports of some loud sounding uh, booms in the sky heard back in December and also now in January. The people are hearing these booms, not only in the sky, but some are hearing them from the ground. We're going to continue to monitor that. But right now, we're in the seven days of passage. This is day two of the seven days of passage as the earth moves into Comet Ison's debris trail. And as expected and as anticipated and as scientists have warned us, NASA told us back in April of 2013, these seven days were coming, or they said at least they were a few days were coming, while BP Earthwatch has analyzed it into seven days. Even NASA scientists are saying we're going to hit the debris trail both coming and going from Comet Ison's debris trail as it went around the sun. We're going to pass through both trails, which means there's going to be rocks, meteorites, and things flying from different directions, something we as a planet have never experienced before. Here's some of the reports. We're going to let Jesse from BP Earthwatch, from a YouTube video he did last night called Large Fireballs Coming in Worldwide. Here's some of his comments about it right now. Guys, it's, it's a, remember, the debris field was 250,000 kilometers wide. The Earth is, what, 12,000 kilometers? So think about that. That may be why we're getting them going mostly west to east, some east to west already because of the way we're moving into this field, some north to south because of the over the uh, incoming. But all the reports, guys, is that it's way brighter, way stronger than anything they've seen. It said, uh, steady light blue object appeared on descending slope. No sound detected, observed inside car with radio playing, observed in an aircraft in the same light of sight, headed in a northerly direction. Now, I, let's, I just want to read through these guys. It's very interesting. They're coming in from Australia. we got them Brooklyn, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Greenboro, New York, uh, Brunswick, Canada, uh, New Jersey, Bed, uh, West Haven, Connecticut, Mount Vernon, New York. Uh, we got Danbury, Connecticut, Brunswick, Windsor Lock, Seaford, New York, down through Connecticut. We're getting them in uh, Gorkin County, uh, Australia, Beaumont, California, in Beaumont, uh, Bucharest, Romania, Lakewood, Ohio, Southington, Cal uh, Connecticut. Are you guys. serious? Down uh, Gosford in uh, New South Wales, Australia. There it's daylight. It's a, then they're saying it's very bright like the sun. Some of these Australian reports, guys, are saying this thing was huge. They, again, they saw it in the daylight. The, some are even wondering if there was an impact with the ground. Also, a couple of the U.S. reports are, are con, uh, concerned about ground impacts. Now, as, as Jesse was explaining to you, all of these different meteor 
uh, or fireball sightings as they are coming into the Earth's atmosphere. Some of them are very bright, especially the ones down off the coast of Australia or over Australia. They were so bright during the daytime, of course, because of the time difference. And I started to be remembering what the Bible said. Now, this event going on is not Revelation 8. But could it produce a Revelation 8 scenario or a possibility of something similar to the, what the Bible says is eventually going to happen on this planet when God pours out his wrath? Let me just tell you what the Bible says will happen. This could be a prelude. This could be a, this could be a sign, a biblical sign to prepare people to understand we're living in the last days. In Revelation 8, the Bible said in verse 6, And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and there were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the trees burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded, it was where, as if it were a great mountain, burning with fire, was cast into the sea. And the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea, and had life, died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, or a bright fireball, if you will. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the stars called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood, or bitter, or poisonous. And we already see it beginning to happen with Fukushima. We have now chemical spills in Charleston, West Virginia, and a, and a nuclear radi radioactive plume uh, leakage in South Carolina. And in, in West Virginia, like I just said, we have a chemical spill. Now you're seeing all of these meteorites, enormous amounts of them. Why? Because we're going through the Comet Ison debris trail. And you guys know I've been telling you about Comet Ison for six months. It wasn't the comet I was ever worried about. I said that a million times. I just said the timing of it's quite uh, spectacular. But what I'm more concerned about was the debris trail what the earth would have to pass through. And now we're in the seven days of passage. We're also in seven days of mourning for the Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon. I've seen that the funeral service was going on today. President Barack Obama did not attend. I think after going to South Africa and spending a lot of time there with the Nelson Mandela funeral, then taking a three-week vacation in Hawaii, he's tired. So he sends Joe Biden, and he's wearing the yarmulke, as he's speaking there, and, uh, and it may have been that President Obama didn't want to be seen wearing a yarmulke. I'm just asking the questions. I've never seen him wearing one. Um, so anyway, so the star was called Wormwood because the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So we know we're living in a very precarious time, and BP Earthwatch will be our guest today in our live broadcast. He'll get us really fully up to speed of what's going on. I've got some more breaking news of taking place about earthquakes, so I'll be back in just a few moments. But we are living in the last days, truly. Every biblical sign you can imagine are beginning to come into play. I'm not even talking about the peace agreement, which is one of the biggest milestones of all, a covenant with many, that, of course, the Palestinian and Israeli peace accord that's going on right now. And, uh, wow. Are you saved? Something biblical's going on with the sign of the second coming of Christ. 